All right, so we now have our app kind of set up and we're in a good spot to kind of knock some things out, all right? So what we're gonna do in this video is talk about our cell data and we're gonna kind of structure it and basically have it so we're returning our sections properly, all right? So first thing we're gonna do is just initialize a couple structures, okay? So I want you to go to the top of the file and what I want you to do is I want you to create a new folder. We're gonna call it a new group and we're gonna say models and then we're going to create a new file in here and we're just going to call it we're going to call it um section data okay so section data.swift and then in here we're going to have two structs let's import ui kit and let's initialize our first struct which is section data this is going to have a variable of open which is going to be a boolean and then we're going to have data which is for now it's just going to be strings okay so basically we're going to have this open variable keep track of whether or not our application or our uh, section is open, right? So right now, say we have three of these section data in the completed app here, right? So we have section data, we got false, and then let's just leave the, the string like that or something blank, right? Just a blank array. So we have these three data here and the second one open is true because it's open, right? Okay, now if I just closed it, that's gonna be false now. And then if I were to open the bottom one, that would be true. Okay, so I think you get the point. That's kind of what we're going for here. And then we're gonna come in here and then put another array in here because we're gonna need to, or another data struct, like something like uh, cell data, because we're gonna have to keep track of a, the title and the image and then this bottom text, right? For now, it's just gonna be string. So let's go ahead and get some data on the screen in our app because right now we don't really have any custom data in here. So with this struct in mind, let's go to table view controller. And what I want you to do is declare a new array up here. Let's say file private. And we'll say let, well, we'll say var because we're going to change it eventually. We'll say var and then we'll just say sections is equal to or is of type. And initially it's going to be of type section data. And then we're going to set this equal to an array, right? And then this is just going to have our section data in it, okay? So section data. Let's see, why isn't it initializing? Section data. Okay, well it has the open and we're gonna set that equal to true by false. We want them just to be open by false, or by default, not by false. And then we're gonna have data in here and this is just gonna have some strings. So we're gonna say something like, hi, subscribe, bruh. All right, so we have three datas in here, okay? So right now what it looks like is like on our screen, we have like hello there in each of these. So it'd be something like that with another one. All right, we're not gonna do that though. We're gonna say subscribe or something. All right, so that's our section data. What I want you to do now is I want you to copy this and just paste it another time and put a comma right here and we will do it again, okay? And then we'll change this up. I guess it's the second section. All right, so you get the point. We're just putting in some data here, okay? Random strings. Okay, so what we need to do now is we need to kind of get this data in our application, okay? So first thing I wanna do is calculate the number of sections based on how many are in here, right? So there's three sections, which means we wanna go down here and return sections.count, right? So basically the amount uh, that's in here. I assume you understand what's going on here. Uh, this is a little more advanced, I guess, but yeah, we're having the, the, these are the numbers of sections. We have three sections in here, okay? And then the rows are gonna be each of these. So I'll get rid of some of these because we want some of these to be a little bit less so I can kind of compare it. Okay, so our first one's gonna have three rows. Our first section's gonna have three rows. Our second section's gonna have one row and our Third is gonna have two rows, okay? So right now they all have two rows, but like if it was following this data, it would have three in this first one with close and then it would have one and then it would have two, right? So this last one would say, instead of hello there and hello there, it would say Twitter and YouTube. The second one would only have one row and it would say section. And this first one would say hi, subscribe, and then it would have another that says bruh, all right? So that's what's going on here. So we need to calculate the number of rows in section by saying, okay, well, let's get our section first. We'll say let section is equal to, well, we won't declare it. What we'll do is we'll just say, we'll return sections at section because we're getting that out of the method. And then we'll just say dot data dot count. Okay, so we're 
we're basically saying dot data dot count and notice how it shows you that it's a type string dot count so basically we're just saying okay get the right section like for the second one and then let's count how many are in data so one so that's going to be how many rows are in the second section okay so i assume that makes sense and if it doesn't just keep following along you'll understand it eventually and i say that a lot but it's just because it's the truth like if you don't understand just keep watching and you'll you'll learn as you go but basically that's going to provide us with the correct data now if we reload our application we're going to get this the correct number of rows and sections and stuff but our text isn't really going to be like this right it's not going to be that in our cells so we need to learn how to do that real quick after i show you this okay you can see that our first one has three because hi subscribe embra then we have one in the second one which is section then we have two Twitter and YouTube, right? So now let's just put the correct data in there by going into our cell for row at, and instead of just saying hello there, let's say, let's declare our section. Let's say let section is equal to sections at index path dot row, cause, or sorry, section, because we have access to the index path. And then we're going to want to get the data out. So we'll say section dot data at index path dot row, okay? So if that doesn't make much sense, Basically, all we're doing is we're taking, we're getting the section out. So based off the section, we're getting the section out. And then we are getting the row that we're on and getting the data out of it. So just keep doing this and it'll come to you. Okay, so we have hi, subscribe, bruh. Then we have subs or section, Twitter, and YouTube, right? So that's looking really good. And that's actually exactly what we want, right? So let's kind of go ahead and further our data here because we don't just want a title like that right we want images so what i want you to do is go to unsplash.com and just get three images and name them zero one and two now let me show you what i'm doing i have these three images here at the bottom of my screen it's kind of hard to see because my icons are so tiny i'll increase it a bit all right i lost my icons all right, so I lost my images here, it looks like. So what I want you to do is just follow along here and go to unsplash.com. And basically, I'm just gonna go to slash at max codes. But basically, what I'm gonna do is grab a few images, right? So what I want you to do is download a few of your favorite images. I'm just gonna get a few off my page and I will get yeah, I'll just get a few off my page. Okay, so I'm getting three images here. And what you're gonna to wanna to do is basically take these images and name them zero, one, and two. And then I'll show you what we'll do, okay? So just get three images, I'm gonna say zero. I guess mine's on the desktop somewhere, those other ones. Oh, I found them. But basically what you wanna do is rename them to zero, one, and two. Okay, so we got zero, we got one, and we got two, our images. And then you just wanna drag those images into your assets folder. So we have zero, one, and two, right? So I hope that makes sense. All I really did was put images in here named zero, one, and two. So now what we can do is we can not only provide a, a title, but also an image. Now, before we modify our data struct to do that, let me just show you that the UI table view cell has an image, profile image kind of thing by default, and we can use it. So we can say cell dot, and I'll say image view, dot image is equal to UI image. And I'm just gonna declare this with a named parameter, so string, right? And I'm just gonna say zero because we clearly just put in an image with a name of zero. Now this might not compile because it might need to be explicitly declared. Okay, I guess it didn't. But basically what's going on here is we are declaring the image and you can see it works, okay? So ideally we don't wanna put the same image in every single time, right? So what we need to do is restructure our data a bit to kind of comply to this. So let's do that right now. What I want you to do is go into section data.swift and let's introduce a new structure into our file here. We're gonna call this structure cell data. So what I want you to do is basically just say var, sorry, struct, cell data and then what we're going to do is say var title is string and that's where we're going to get like hi subscribe bra section twitter and youtube right and then we're going to say var image what we'll say feature image is of ui image okay 
So now we kind of have that. And instead of using a string, let's use cell data. So we don't have to only have a title, but we can also have an image. Okay. So we'll say cell data. And now that's structured. But obviously this is going to create some problems. So go ahead and pause it and get this in there. And then let's continue by going into table view controller.swift. And instead of using strings, we need to use that cell data. So what I'm going to do is kind of separate this because it's going to get a little bit clustered if we don't do this, right? So let's just separate all of our data here so that we can put in these cell datas without making the, it all on one line, right? And then we'll say that opens on its own line, data's on its own line. All right, you see what I'm doing here. And then now what we can do is instead of using like, let's start with section because there's one. Instead of using a string, what we need to do is use a cell data. So we'll say cell data. And then uh, where's the initializer? I hate that. Basically, it has a title and a feature image, right? So we need to say cell data has a title. And that's going to be, let's say, section. And then the feature image is going to be of UI image. And then we're just going to say named and we'll say one, right? Okay, so that should be good. Now you'll see we obviously don't have these working. So what we need to do is kind of convert these as well. So what I want you to do is just take data and copy it over these other datas, right? And then what I want you to do is just rename these appropriately. So Twitter, and then I'm gonna make it of, of image zero, and then I'm gonna copy this. And since it's an array, we have to put a comma there. And I'm just gonna say one, and then I'm gonna call this YouTube. And then I'm gonna say Instagram up here and this is gonna be two, okay? So just go ahead and pause the video and get this code in there. And then if that's still not compiling, just again, make sure everything is exactly the same here. Oh, wow, mine's not compiling either. I really hope that y'all aren't stuck now on that. But basically what you need to do is you need to put in a default value for this, but we're just gonna put in, instead of a default value, we're just gonna use a bang to unwrap it. So just make sure your images exist. Okay, but basically, real quick, pause it and get in there, and then make sure that your section data also looks like this, or it won't work. Okay, so now that we're this far, we can kind of pull the image out too. Now, if we were to compile this, it would break. Now, the reason is, is because we're still trying to get that title out of the data by just getting the first or second item, right? But right now it's a struct, so we can't really set that equal to a text label. So what we need to do is we need to cut this out and then we need to say let section data is equal to section dot data at next path dot row. And then on the text label, we can just say section data dot title. And then now we can just say section data dot image on the image view. Okay, so now when we recompile, okay, so it's gonna be feature image, right? But when we recompile our application now, you're gonna see that it has its own custom title like it did before, but it now also has its own custom image. Like obviously a few of them are gonna be the same images, but that's simply because we've used the same images a few more than a few times, right? So don't worry about that. But you can see that it's working, right? We have our custom images. We only have four cell data, so that's why we only see four. If we were to copy this and put something like three, and then I could drag another image in that I want to call three or something, then we could make it look good, right? So I'm going to take an image out of my trash can that I just threw away and I'm going to rename it to three. Okay. And then I'm just going to go into my, I'm, like, you don't have to do this part. I'm just dragging in another image called three. Okay. And then now what I can do is I can say like three and then I can call this like, I don't know, unsplash. And then I can put a comma right here. Okay. So basically you can see, I'm just putting in more data. That was completely like an unnecessary step, but it might help you understand further what we're doing here. Okay. So we should be good there. Let's go ahead and look at it. All right. So it's looking a bit better. Now this is all great. And we have our data structure. This is exactly what I wanted to get done in this video. And we're now set up in a really good spot to kind of start building out our custom cell. All right. And then after that, we will just further stylize everything and then get into those animations. But for now, let's end the video. It's getting pretty long and I'm sure you want to break. So I'll see you all in just a moment.